So if there's something I've noticed about Singaporean men, you know, being a Singaporean man himself, is that sometimes a lot of us have some of the shallowest conversations ever. You know, we men, we born through challenge. And that's why we talk about national service so much. You know, you can have a conversation with bro and he'll be like, Hey, you know, uh, I go out few seven days at a time, rain every day. Then my food started rotting. <laughs> it's always a description of the event itself, but never about how we felt during the situation. You won't hear a Singaporean dude go like this to another guy. Hey, you know, uh, I go off you uh, seven days that time, rain every day. Then my food started rotting. Siong <laughs> Actually, uh, I felt um, them helpless uh, and was on the verge of crying uh, because I miss my mom so much. <laughs> you won't hear this sort of shit when dudes talk to one another. And that leads us to this problem in that although we might have a strong brotherly bond with one another, our actual depth of connection is only at the surface. Here's the thing, the crux to feeling closer to your friends is to have an emotional connection with them. And for that, you would actually need to have the courage to be vulnerable and open up about your feelings to one another. But the problem is, Singaporean men Men are not so inclined to do that and even if we are, we are so emotionally stunted in our emotional growth that the vocabulary we would have for our emotions could be brought down to two words, happy and sad. Like just think about it, you're out with your bros and he's out there going out with some new girl. Hey wow bro, you know I've been texting this girl I met on Tinder, then got vibes yeah. <laughs> I went out with her last night and then can click lah, no. happy yeah. Or you know if something bad has happened, wow bro you know. She like never replied me for three days. Uh. I don't know whether she got ghost me or not. Uh. I thought I thought got vibes. Uh. I saw her Insta story, she like go out with uh, another guy. Then I'd be sad. Uh. More detailed descriptors like I'm jealous do not exist in our emotional dictionary. And I don't blame them for that. We were raised in this patriarchal environment which promoted the traditional form of masculinity in that vulnerability means weakness and having too many strong feelings would mean that you can't keep them in control and you're not stable like a man should be. And that makes us awful at empathy and listening when the situation requires it. Ladies, I hear you. When you tell your guy friends about a problem you're facing, sometimes you just want them to listen but they end up giving you a lecture on what to do instead. You know, you'd be like, I've been feeling really stressed over the past few weeks about this thing and I really just need to get it off my chest. And then your friend would go like, yeah. So uh, I, I think uh, you should do this. I'm like, bro, shut the f*** up. She's coming to you to change her mood, not to change her mind. You know, we naturally have this problem solving mode switched on because we were built on logic and not making decisions based on feelings. But sometimes, this problem solving mode fails as well. And it leads to one of the biggest breakthroughs in Singapore history in how Singaporean men console and comfort one another. It's by far the most efficient way for you to console and empathize with any Singaporean brother that's going through something thing and it boils down to two words <sighs> shack bro and i'll illustrate this with a simple example imagine me going up to my bro and i'm telling him these problems about my non-existent relationship you know i'll be like hey dude i've been having problems in my relationship lately my girlfriend is depressed and i really don't know what to do because i love her so much but i also feel so helpless and sorrowful just because i don't really know what to do to make her better and then he just looks at me stern-faced the cocks in his brain jamming up because he does not know how to react to emotions beyond happy or sad and when that happens the Singaporean male reflex kicks in. <sighs> Shag bro. And for my international audience, Shag bro does not mean we want to <coughs> or bro. I don't want to have my butthole compromised for pouring out my feelings. I think. I haven't tried. But yes, Shag bro in Singapore terms means that's gotta be tiring. Like you get <coughs> over by life and that's why that's Shag. But imagine me, I hear this and I'm like, what the f***? I just spent the past 5 minutes pouring out my guts to you about my failing relationship that's giving me all of this anxiety and this is the best you can tell me. And you know, with a bit of exasperation, I take a sip from my beer and I reply to him. Yeah. Shag bro. <laughs> and in that moment, I was at peace. It works.